Human evolution is complicated. It is a complex issue with lots of subtleties that scientists all over the world have been struggling with for countless decades. Until now, it was believed that all questions related to the evolution of mankind had been answered. There have been many theories about the evolution of mankind. There have been numerous species of humankind, including Denisovan, Neanderthals, Australopithecus, Homo erectus, Homo habilis, Homo sapiens, and so many more. Research on human DNA led to the belief that ancient Homo sapiens had interbred with the now extinct Neanderthals and Denisovans. However, research done in recent times has given scientists a mysterious new puzzle piece in the history of human origin. Some people have been researched, and it was discovered that their DNA has traces of an unknown ancestor. Bits and pieces of genetic material from an unknown source were found in the DNA of some people living in the Pacific Islands. Researchers and scientists suggest that there might have been a third, still unknown species of hominid humans, and extinct ancestors which had also interbred with ancient Homo sapiens. The study, published in the scientific journal about nature, revealed that people from Papua New Guinea, an island nation in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, and northeastern Australia, carry a small streak of DNA from an unknown extinct human species. They had found traces of DNA, which had a bit of similarity with the Denisovans, but still oddly different from it. Experts speculate that the streak of DNA probably belonged to another species of hominids. New findings propose that the third extinct hominid species, which is still unknown to science, interbred with ancient Homo sapiens. According to the study's lead author, Ryan Bellander, a geneticist at the University of Texas, the history of humans is much more complex than we previously thought. Geneticists created a computer model to discern the presence of Neanderthals and Denisovan DNA in modern Pacific Islanders and indigenous people in Australia and determined what part they made up. In the previous data, they had found some slight contradictions. To be exact, the part of the DNA of both the Neanderthals and Denisovan extinct human species and the inhabitants of the South Pacific turned out to be significantly lower than was previously thought. For instance, the researchers determined that the Denisovan DNA share was only 1.1%, whereas previous estimates had been between 3 and 6%. Some anthropologists suggest that what scientists and researchers tag DNA of the Denisovan man may, in fact, belong to a Denisovan for the simple reason that the analysis of the remains of the Denisovan man revealed that the Denisovan were very diverse genetically. According to scientists, there could be other populations of Denisovans throughout the continent that could have theoretically interbred with the ancestors of today's Australians. All human ethnic groups except for Africans possess a small streak of Neanderthal DNA. It is believed that the meeting of ancient people and the Neanderthals happened immediately after a small group of ancient Homo sapiens departed from Africa. Nevertheless, scientists do not have any unambiguous answer and the possibility of the existence of a third human species of human ancestors hasn't been refuted. So, now that the mystery of the ancestral lineage has been unraveled, let's talk about the descendants. The development of technology and the demographic processes of the present allow us to suggest that people's appearance may change in the future. Will our descendants be cyborgs with mechanical implants, renewable limbs, and cameras embedded in their eyes as portrayed in science fiction? Will people become hybrids of biological creatures and robots? Will our height, physique, facial features, and skin color change? What if the humans of the future look like aliens? The Roswell Incident The past century was rich in alleged alien visitation, but none affected human minds like the Roswell Incident. On July 4, 1947, the Independence Day of the United States of America, a local farmer William Brazil heard something at night that resembled a loud bang or an explosion accompanied by an intense flash of light. It was not surprising as there was a severe thunderstorm the previous day. In the morning, while checking out the source of the noise, Mr. Brazil found a wreckage of unknown origin in the nearby vacant lot. Mr. Brazil assumed that some sort of aircraft must have crashed there and it was definitely not a weather balloon 
because weather balloons were sometimes carried over the farm from the local test sites, so the man knew what they looked like. The wreckage he stumbled upon looked very different. Mr. Brazil also discovered fragments of extremely lightweight material, among other things. According to him, these fragments didn't burn, nor did they succumb to any external influence at all. The material he had found represented foil. The only difference was that it couldn't be torn, and it had the property of returning to its original appearance. However, one of the oddest discoveries was the glass balls inside, which one could identify as something that looked like human fingers. One important thing to remember is that some of the parts found on the site had strange characters that resembled either Chinese characters or Indian writing. Immediately, the military made a statement that a weather balloon had crashed near the site of Roswell. William Brazil, however, refused to provide any information after talking with the military. What if it really was a UFO? What if the future humans managed to develop the technology to travel back in time? There have been theories stating that the future people could travel back in time to study and understand their biological past. If these theories and assumptions are true, will there be more alien visits? Israel and the United States have already established contact with aliens that belong to the Galactic Federation several years ago. Still, it is being kept a secret to not cause panic among Earthlings, said the former head of the space security program, 87-year-old Professor Haim Hashad. According to him, the aliens in the United States entered into a cooperation agreement. The U.S. leadership intended to disclose information about the negotiations with the Galactic Federation but the aliens did not allow this to happen and forbade them from doing so. In the professor's interpretation of their opinion, humans should develop independently, go out into space and understand the universe and space flights. Over the past hundred years, tremendous changes in science and technology have taken place in the life of mankind. Judging by the forecast of human development for the next century, Telepathy will become one of the most common forms of enhancing brain functionality. Perceiving thoughts and transmitting them over a distance will be as commonplace as storing thoughts on a computer network. The direct connection of the brain will give people immortality in the practical sense of the word. Genetic modification will lead to a significant extension of lifespan. By 2075, most people in developed countries will be using some form of computer brain enhancer. The people of the future will probably have dozens of technological implants and chips to make their lives easier. Other scientific, technical, and intellectual revolutions will also include changes in people's appearance. It is a must for humanity to evolve, to adapt to these new conditions. It is also possible that humans will be able to shrink in size to reduce the amount of energy that we consume and be able to fit on our overpopulated planet. Our heads could also become bigger to accommodate larger brains. When our civilization becomes advanced enough for interplanetary travel, our eyes will grow larger to have better vision in a dimmer environment far from the sun. The similarity between the man of the future and aliens, which we only know and see in the movies, is obvious. So the version that aliens are people of the future is quite likely. Pretty crazy theories, right? What do you think the future of mankind will be like? Will everything become fully mechanized? Will humanity become mixed and become hybrids? Currently, there are talks of taking technology to the next level. What will technology be like in the next decade? What would it be like in the next 50 years? What about the next century? Do you think the theory of aliens is true and real? Do you believe that there are extraterrestrial beings out there in deep space? How many times have they visited Earth and left their vestiges lying around? Do you think the construction of the pyramids of Egypt had something to do with them? What secrets lie in the past that remain unknown to us? If indeed the aliens had come visiting, is it possible that they intended with humans, leaving some descendants? The mystery of the ancestry of mankind and humanity as a whole will never be fully unraveled unless future humans can come up with a machine it can help them travel back to the past. Will they be able to truly decipher what the past holds? Humanity has always been able to evolve and adapt faster than any other known species. So there is no doubt that with time, our technological advancement will reach an unprecedented height. 